Yellowstone, the first national park, holds many amazing wonders, such as thermal features, cool sights, and nature. There is so much to explore. Geysers start with molten rock at around 2 to 5 miles underneath Yellowstone's surface. On top of this molten rock is water, which is heated up. The water is too heavy for the heat to vaporize, so instead, steam is sent up through bubbles, which actually creates a clog. Eventually, the pressure is so immense, it actually lifts the water up above the surface, creating steam, causing it to overflow. The pressure decreases, which allows the steam to come up, which creates violent boiling, which shoots the water up in the air and bellows steam, creating an eruption. Hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles are made the same way, except they can cycle the water and air through rather than get clogged. Some hot springs have bright colors, like this blue colored one. This look is created by trillions of microorganisms that thrive in high temperatures. Mud pots can make loud bubbling noises, like this. Fumaroles are vents that bellow out lots of steam. There are many waterfalls in Yellowstone. This is the Yellowstone Lower Falls, the largest fall in Yellowstone. It is around 308 feet tall, which is almost double the height of Niagara Falls. In the spring, around 63,500 gallons of water flow over it every second. There is a lot of wildlife in Yellowstone, and probably the most common are bison. They mainly eat grasses and sedges. Bison move around a lot and can even be seen crossing a river. You can see them gathered in massive numbers all over Yellowstone. A male bison can weigh up to 2,000 pounds and sometimes live up to 20 years. Bison are very powerful and can run up to 30 miles per hour. Wolves usually don't mess with bison because the wolf pack leaves with wounds and often a dead pack member, only to take down one bison. Yellowstone is home to one of the biggest amounts of bison. Some of the many animals in Yellowstone are ravens, Canadian geese, Mallard ducks, pronghorn, Squirrels, elk, trumpeter swans, and osprey. This osprey appears to be taking a fish to its nest and baby. Seeing a bear in Yellowstone really is an exciting sight. There are two types of bears that can be seen here, and they are black bears and grizzly bears. Being the bigger of the two, a male grizzly bear can weigh up to 700 pounds. Grizzly bears are more aggressive than black bears and are very agile, running up to 40 miles per hour. So if you see one of these, make sure to keep at a safe distance. 
Both these types of bears can live up to 30 years old. Grizzly bears can be distinguished from black bears because they are much bigger, have a hump on their back, and have a longer nose. Grizzly bears usually eat elk calves, roots, trout, rodents, grass, and other mammals, making them omnivores. Grizzly bears have long claws for digging up roots like this bear is doing here. This bear is probably only a couple years old. Yellowstone is such an amazing place, so if you're planning on going, prepare to be amazed.